another episode of Gone Rogue. And in this episode of Gone Rogue, I am going to talk about how my favorite video game genre. That's right. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite video game genre, which is open world gaming open world games and in this episode I want to talk about open world adventures just to fit my narrative that I do on my uh, YouTube channel Alex's Adventures so as you can see now we are heading towards towards uh, Santa Monica the Santa Monica Pier we'll, we will be passing through the tunnel and you'll see why uh, and why I chose this road. I mean, I chose this uh, route to do an episode of Gone Rogue. So, with that being said, with that being said, let's talk about my favorite video game genre, which is open world game video games, open world gaming or open world adventures. So, why I like open world adventures. The example of open world adventures are games like Grand Theft Auto, Watch Dogs 2, Mafia 3, L.A. Noir, Red Dead Redemption. Continue on California Boy North for four miles. Just Cause 3, all those games, all those uh, Grand Theft Auto type games, and I and I didn't mention Grand Theft Auto. Amazing. So here is the tunnel. This tunnel is super narrow compared to the tunnel in Grand Theft Auto V, where you drive through a bigger tunnel. And here we are on the Pacific Coast Highway, the famous Pacific Coast Highway. One of my favorite highways to drive on. So let's stay on, on this lane. And the scenery right here is super beautiful. It's super real. And and when I say real, uh, when I every time I play Grand Theft Auto V, uh, I feel like you're in real life. And driving through this uh, section. I feel like I'm in a video game. Seriously, I feel like I am in a video game and just looking around, it does feel like I'm in Grand Theft Auto V, uh, Del Perro, Los Santos, San Andreas. So we have a traffic light ahead. We are uh, six minutes away from our destination. And there, here at this intersection is called the California Incline. And if you know about the California Incline, it is also featured in the GTA 5, uh, where after you go through the tunnel, and one of the first intersection, if not the first intersection, it's the intersection. If you when you turn right, you go up on in this incline. So this is such an amazing experience experience that I want to share you. And, and this is the reason why I love playing open world video games. Because you feel like you're in real life. You feel like you're in someone's recreated uh, world. And Grand Theft Auto V is basically a recreation of Los Angeles. And, and it's so, there's so many words that I can talk about why I like open world video games and talking about open world video games. I do a, another series called uh, Alex Trend Gaming where I uh, do videos of me playing video games. And if you watch the first five episodes, it's basically... GTA, GTA Online video games, and 
man, and there's that building, there's that building at the end of the, at the end of the city, end of Del Perro, that's the building. And that's the building where if you go on a Bay City Avenue and go straight through the parking structure, through that building, it's basically a stunt jump. And man, I'm so full of joy. Seriously, I am so full of joy uh, being able to uh, experience this. And we are, can't, we can't get in front of this truck. I stay behind it. And on my right is a right turn lane, right turn only lane, so I can't do anything about it. And we are just four minutes away, 144 is the expected uh, arrival. Perfect for this uh, video, and later today I'll be heading down to uh, Santa Monica, to Santa Monica Pier, uh, to do an episode of Alex's Adventures, Alex's Adventures, where we explore the pier and the uh, Third Street Promenade and uh, Santa Monica Place, which is a shopping mall. This is the last intersection, the last intersection, and just look at this, just look at this. If you go through the last intersection before moving up to the plus Pacific Bluffs in GTA 5, it's such a similar scene, and yeah, except for in real life it has three lanes, where in GTA 5 it's uh, two lanes. and. Uh, the attention to detail is astonishing. It's amazing. And yeah. hell, I feel like I'm in a video game driving up to Polito Bay. So maybe I should have switched lanes because hell, let's do it. Let's switch lanes. Get past this truck. Hopefully. There's no dedicated right turn lane. So let's go through this. Maybe I should have looked at the, how many lanes do I need to turn for ar arriving at the intersection. Man, 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 this is super amazing. And look at this view. Look at this view. You have the uh, mountains, Santa Monica Mountains, if I'm not mistaken. There's Malibu, I can see the Malibu Pier from this distance, super far away. And Malibu Pier is based uh, in GTA 5. Uh, it's called the Chumash Pier. And in real life, uh, Chumash, Chumash Pier is based on the Malibu Pier. So, yeah. Yeah, we so we are getting stuck in traffic. Hopefully, uh, it's not a problem. Just added another minute to the commute. A super long commute coming uh, away from the coming into LA. And yeah, so and if you see my previous Gone Rogue videos, I also drive through Laguna Beach. And driving through Laguna Beach, every time I have it in my mind, driving through Laguna Beach, I feel like I'm driving through, um, driving towards Malibu. And yeah, so that is all I wanted to share in this video of Gone Rogue. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up comment in the comment section below on what you think about this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and be sure to check out my other YouTube content that is on this channel. And thank you for watching Gone Rogue. And I'll see you on the next one.